I'm sick and tired of these kind of funny TikToks. You know the TikToks that are funny, but you don't really laugh. You just blow more air out of your nose than normal. <laughs> One of those. I'm tired of it. I need me a good belly laugh, a good chuckle. So today we are watching British TikToks that are actually funny. This is a passenger announcement. The train departing platform two will be calling at Kill David, Stab Allen, Mame Steven, Oh my god. Philip, Craig's dead, <laughs> Burn Martin's house, oh my Murder god. Island, Frame Henry, and Glasgow Central. Oh my gosh, we went through a whole Criminal Minds episode in that, just that one little TikTok. Gee. We left James in charge of barfing the girls today. Oh, oh good lord. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely me, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely me. I mean, they're clean. Dude, nice beard. Damn. I, I should dye mine blue. Eight minutes. Eight minutes to all. One, two, one. Hey, it's <laughs> Nana, you're inside. What do you mean? <laughs> it's raining. Have you got the munchies? You want a bag of crisps? Nah, I'm good, lad. I'm good. Yeah. Aye. Bro, where is she at? We need one of those in my town. Usually if you see a lady pulling something behind her going through our town, she just got into a fight with her uh, baby daddy and he kicked her out and she can't stay in the trailer tonight. So she has to go to her Aunt Eugene's. Yeah, you heard me right, Aunt Eugene. Yeah, she ain't got a ride, so she got a hitchhike and uh, she stands outside of the gas station and smokes like six packs of cigarettes waiting for a ride. Stop it, Jack! Come on! <laughs> I killed him. Right, go. <laughs> oh, Jack! How are you that bad? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? I was going to try to kill the fuck down. <laughs> That's the lady that stands outside of the gas station waiting for a ride. <laughs> what happened to you? Even fucking talk to me. That man has seen some things. Look at what happened. Oh my goodness. Don't even fucking talk to me. <laughs> Just a normal night in a British pub. I've never seen a more diverse like group of people in my life. Was she falling? Confused. Confused. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Wait, let Batty buy a card. <laughs> it's a fucking lesbian. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that, bro. God. <laughs> it's a fucking lesbian. Do it again. Do it again. It's a chair melting. Oh my gosh. It's just a game. Bra sizes, A, almost boobs. B, barely boobs. C, can't complain. D, dang. Double D, double down, <laughs> E, enormous, F, fake, G, get a reduction, H, help me, I've fallen over. <laughs> it's me, your nan's kitchen floor, out on the town, watch out. Today we're in London. 
This is Peckham, widely recognised for its outstanding contribution to knife crime and gang violence. If you're interested in being stabbed to death by a gang of youths, Peckham is definitely the place for you. Just up the road from there, we've got Nun Head, <laughs> named after the nuns who used to give head. The head was so good, they even named a pub after it. We have Hackney, named in tribute of all those who have been hacked to death on the streets here. Hackney takes pride in its culture. For those of you who aren't familiar with the term, culture is when you cram multiple different ethnicities into the same area to keep them segregated and give it a nice label such as metropolitan, make it sound less shit than it actually is. We have an unattended bag, which is probably a bum. We have Camden. For those of our viewers who are in Birmingham, this is basically Selly Oak on crack. Unrivaled in its approach, London remains at the forefront. Hold up! No! Selly Oak on crack. Unrivaled in its approach. Look at his feet! I, ca I can't even I can't even walk around my own house that I sweep and mop without socks on. At least. And you're out here on the streets of London. Raw dogging it. You're raw dogging the concrete. What's wrong with you? Probably a lot. You probably got a lot of things wrong with you because you're raw dog in the damn street. London remains at the forefront of British fashion. Wow. question why is it dick pic and not stay with me damn dick sure <laughs> yeah, gang up what right, geezer i want geezer <laughs> <laughs> tell us what is it the scar what is it called scorpion a scorpion yeah scorpion are really cool scary what's that it's what? I mean, it's lovely. I love it. Is it lovely? Yeah, I love it. I was doing my work this morning at school, and Miss, I finished, and Miss, and I took it to Miss McDonald, and I said, I've done. She said, I'm not, I've, you've not done, because I have done, and she said, you've not. Look, I've done, I've done more than one sentence, and she said, you haven't. Bro, I'm 21 years old, and this kid is 10 times better at accents than I am. I can I can barely do my own accent. Like just talking's tough, really. <laughs> I show I show her, and I said, "Just put it in box. I'm sick of hearing you now." <laughs> and so I put it in box, and I thought, <laughs> "I am done." When she marks it, she'll be surprised, and she'll say sorry to me. And that was it. I know one thing. That teacher better have said sorry to her. Cause if not, we got some, we got a problem. <laughs> Literally me <laughs> going it anywhere. <laughs> that is me, bro. Oh, fuck it, <laughs> Any family outing, that that's me. Concept of a British person talking Japanese, the funniest thing to me. Are we got ogres eye mask? <laughs> I don't want to see anybody else behind these curtains, Year 7. They are very expensive curtains. Year 7, they are professional drama curtains from the West End. If we go behind the curtains, we cannot use the drama studio. Mm -hmm. Away from the curtains at all times. <laughs> don't touch the curtains. Thank you, mate. You all right? Yeah. Yeah, what? <laughs> fucking <laughs> Hello. I that man's having one of the best birthdays of his life. Make an appointment with the dentist for a cleaning as soon as possible if you'd like to give me a call back whenever you can. Thank you so much.
Bye bye. Hello, hello, you sneaky, cheeky sausage. <laughs> I need to get my teeth clean because I've never done it before. <laughs> Oh my god, that's facts, bro. Like, I cannot stand my own voice anymore because you gotta think, I have to talk while making these videos, then I also have to edit these videos, and then re-watch it to make sure my editing's good, and by the time I've watched this video, y'all are watching it like six different times, and my voice, oh my gosh. Like, I think I sound one way, but I sound six different ways whenever I'm recording. It's, it's bad. I'm seeing here now. You are such a how, I was gonna say, how do you do this? If you've gone out the window or something. As Mr. Goddard's deputy, Mr. Drew is in charge of discipline and enforcing the rules. Oh, so it's feta? No, it's not feta. It's a cream cheese. That's feta. It's not feta. That's feta, taste that. It fucking ain't feta. Not by you. We will make Breakfast. Breakfast. A success. Damn. Damn. I feel it tells you what you're thinking about in the speech bubble. What thinking about? <laughs> oh, get out of here. Get that off. Oh, it says well, now I am. <laughs> what thinking about? Oh, don't be so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I have your washing here which needs to go outside on the line because it's possibly rain tomorrow. Bruh. I will put it in a bag for you. Did you? Yeah. Okay then. <laughs> I'm gonna make that the uh, beginning to my uh, voicemail. <laughs> you fucking tip one. <laughs> Yes. Bro, I swear, British people are like the goats of just on-the-spot insults. Like, how do you come up with that in a split second? <laughs> Who is the biggest fucking idiot? Fucking me. Moved house today, in my new flat, chilling, bit naked in the mirror, that's fine. <laughs> Didn't look at the flat before moving into it, I looked at pictures online and was like, yeah, I'll just go there. Who does that? Me and my new flat mate were trying to decide who gets what room, both like the look of one room, and he just went, oh, just you can have it, I'm not fussy. So I was like, right, okay, that's sorted. We didn't really argue about that. I'll just have it just to save a job. I hate the room. I'll tell you why. So I got the room because of this big unit. I was like, oh my God, I can put plants on that, whatever I want. Well, guess what it does? It opens out into the fucking living room. Oh. What? And you might think, whoa, that's sick. No. No, it's not sick. Fat gap. Damn. I can't get naked. What do I do? Stick my cock through that little <laughs> hole there. What? No! I don't want it! Yeah, that would suck. Tell me you live in the UK without telling me you live in the UK. What is happening? Is that the bus? Okay, important information. If that's one of those double-decker red buses, is that the bottom tier or the top tier? Because if it's the top tier, we got real problems. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Come with me, I'll teach you a few things. <laughs> Uh-oh. Nah, this man knows what he's doing. Come on. Come on. Come on, we've got to talk about a few things. Oh yeah. This man's been around. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Who the fuck put that there? <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. You know what? Those were actually funny. I actually got a good chuckle out of some of those. <laughs> y'all let me know y'all thought about this down in the comments. If y'all want to see me keep doing these videos, these reacting to British TikTok videos, let me know by hitting that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you go out today. Spread love, spread kindness. Do something nice somebody today. I love you guys so much. I really do. JT Rex, I'm out. Peace.